Okay, guys, so um, we are going to continue with example 4. So in example 4, in a quadrilateral A, B, C, D, okay, you have a diagonal A, C, and B, D that intersect at X. So it's given a question, and they tell that A, X, D, X, B, X, C, X, uh, they are equal to each other in length. Okay, it's not really cutting at the center, but after you cut, somehow you get the same length at different sides, okay? So that's what they are saying. Now, part A, they want to show that A, B, X, and D, C, X are congruent to each other. So the moment you see this show, I want you guys immediately think of this. There are actually four tests that you can use to prove congruency. Okay. And we have to learn the first one. Then obviously, we're going to use the second one here for this exercise. But the question has really helped you out. They already told you that A, B, X, and D, C, X are congruent to each other. Okay, so we're going to write down the matching first. Then we can start. Okay, so uh, we look at the diagram actually. It is not so difficult. In fact, the question has really given us two big hints. Okay, if I want to show A, B, X, and D, C, X are similar, they have already told us two sides. Okay, so I can just copy what the question has given us. AX is equal to DX. Okay, so I've proven one side already. Now let's take a look. BX and CX. So I've used AX. I'm going to use BX. So the enclosed angle is definitely going to be this angle over here. Okay, so I'm going to write down angle. I'm going to call it AXB. Okay, it's going to be equal to angle D x c okay they're going to be equal why we need to give the reason also because this is vertically opposite angles right if you need to think a little more you can feel free to pause the video to find out why take a look at the shape okay you have to work here with you so um this one has proven then what about the last side you need to think also because it's given in the question bx is equal to cx and the last one is side. So if your side angle side, therefore you can prove that triangle ABX and triangle DCX are congruent. Okay, the test that you use is SAS congruency test. Shown. Right, then after that, Part B, they want you to name another two triangles that are congruent to each other. Okay, they never ask you to prove, they just want you to name two triangles. So, plus, can you try which two triangles are congruent to each other? I'm gonna pause two seconds so you can pause the video and then you try first. Okay, so I hope you guys did pause the video and you try to think what are the two triangles if you can see it okay this side bc is being shared by two overlapping triangle it is shared between this triangle and let me use a thicker is it enough yes this triangle darker blue can you see it this two triangle i share the side bc and because just now I have proven the congruency triangle, so this is also proven. And this, uh, let me use bigger. This line here is actually this plus this. And this line here is also the same thing. In other words, I've proven that all three sides are equal. Uh, so they are congruent triangles. Okay, so you can just look and you are able to tell. The question never asked you to do proving, so we don't have to do that. So you can just say ABC is congruent to DCB. Alright, so we are done with this part. Okay, when we apply SAS, we use included angle. However, what if now we consider another case where the angle is not included. In other words, when it's SSA, is it a congruency test? 
Okay, we will answer this question as we go through this exercise here. Actually, it's here lah. You can see SSA is not a congruency test. Okay, some of you will can say that this is also ASS. It's an S, so it's not a congruency test. So this is also not a congruency test. Okay, why is it not a congruency test? Now, let's take a look. In this two triangle here, ABC, MNO, okay. AB is 5CN, MN is 5CN. And then you have your AC as 3CM, MO as 3CM, and then you have this, everything given here, okay? Therefore, two sides and a not included angle of ABC are equal to two sides of the corresponding angle of MNO, okay? Can you complete constructing it and show that they are not congruent to each other? Okay, you can use your ruler to go and measure, or if you have a compass, that will be even better. So when you measure it, or when you draw it properly, whoops, okay. Okay, sorry about that. So when you measure it, you will see that if you draw, okay, the side here, AC, this is the one that you don't have. One you need to draw C, the other one you need to draw O. You can actually draw your C right here. Maybe shorter. Use ruler to measure. Maybe C is right here. You should draw, you should be able to draw a straight line. Huh? Okay. Maybe right here. You get that this is 3cm and it is also possible for you to draw a 3cm and this is point O right here okay in this case I have side side angle okay you see my side here my side here my angle here is not included. Okay, you see that the angle is not included. I have a side, I have a side. What does this show you? Okay, if I have two sides and the angle, I don't put it in between, meaning that I am letting the two length here, it's just like you have a chopstick that's shorter and you have a chopstick that's longer, you are letting it free flow. You're letting it open and close as long as big, as as uh, as much as you like, and then you're not fixing it. If you don't fix the angle in between your chopsticks, you can end up with a scenario like what we see here. Okay, two different triangles. One is five cm, the other one is three cm, and you still have a thirty degree, and they are not congruent to each other. Therefore. If you use one angle and two sides and the angle is not included, then it is not a valid um, congruency test. Okay, because it's clear, you look at this two triangle, are they congruent to each other? No, but we still have side, side, angle. Just that the angle here is not included. In this case, it is clear that they are not congruent triangles. So SSA is not a congruency test. Okay, now we proceed to the next one, section 4 now. Okay, SSS, SAS, then we have uh, angle, side angle, and we have RHS test. Okay, so we have all these tests here. that we need to learn. We have already done with the first one, second one, and then this is what we're gonna learn. Okay, so what is ASA? Angle, side, angle, okay? It means that two angles and one side are equals to uh, the two angles and the corresponding side, then they are congruent to each other. Okay, in this case, 
the site does not need to be included. Okay, so we can call it an AAS test or we can also call it an SAS test. So you can also call it an AAS test over here or you can call it an SAS test. Okay, now uh, why is it that the test here, we say that they are uh, AASA is equivalent to AAS. Okay, pause for two seconds. You may pause the video and try to think for yourself first. Okay, I hope you guys pause and then you try to uh, figure it out, okay? So, because if you know, okay, you copy this down, if you know two angles of a triangle, you can find the third one. Okay, you can find a third angle. Both tests are the same. Comparing three corresponding angle and one corresponding side of two triangles. Okay, you can pause the video to copy. I'll just continue. So what you see here is actually this. When you have really proven two angles, it's easy for you to prove the third one. Okay, so um, it doesn't matter whether the, it is enclosed or not because by proving two angles, it is as good as saying that you have proven three angles on one side. Right? So it doesn't matter. The side don't have to be enclosed because by proving two angles are the same, you are essentially saying all three angles are the same. Correct? Because it's implied the third angle, but it's not the same for the side. If two sides are the same length, it does not mean that the third side must be the same. Lah. Okay? So here, um, let's look at the next one in example 6. Okay, Example 6, explain why DEF and PQR are equal in area. Okay, Why are these two equal in area? So let's take a look here. Okay, Why are they equal in area? We have DEF and PQR. Let's look at the two triangles over here. Okay, let's start. Um, I'm going to start looking at this triangle first. I have given this and this, then I'll find a third angle. So let's find a third angle first. Mm, PQR will be equal to 180 degree minus 41 degree minus 32 degree. Okay, the reason will be angle sum of triangle. Keep your habit always give the reason if you can okay it's 107 degree so let's write down this is 107 degree then next we have def uh, this is also 107 degree do you see that hey I have an angle that match def is equal to angle pqr which is 107 degree I've matched one angle okay then after that I also have this AD4 and AD4 here. So EF is equals to QR. Right? Why I use F and R is because this side here at the F is 32 degree. This side at the R is 32 degree. So I would put the E match with the, I mean at the F match with the R. So there's 84 mm is given. Okay, then I can also look at the next angle here. I'm going to erase. So 32 degree and 32 degree. So I can prove that angle D, E. Uh, no, I can prove that the angle over here, D, F, E is equal to angle P, R, Q. Okay, and this is 32 degree. 
So I've proven this is my angle side angle. Although here it is enclosed, but even if it's not enclosed side, it doesn't matter because once you have proven one angle is the same actually the other one. It is clear, right? You look at what I've written here. You find two angles, the third one is easy to find and then it's easy for you to prove so it doesn't matter whether your side is enclosed or not. Okay, so based on this, I can then say that uh, triangle D, E, F, and triangle P, Q, R are congruent. Okay, and this is A, A, S, A congruency test. Let me write it properly. Congruency test. Okay. And since they are congruent to each other, therefore I can say that triangle DEF and triangle PQR have the same area. Okay, maybe they put a comma here. So because they're congruent, then obviously they are going to have the same area. Okay, so um, we still have example 7. Can you go and try to do example 7? We'll continue section 5 on the right hand side in another lesson. Okay, you try to do this question on your own. Thank you.